Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Anubhuti and I love to talk about everything beauty related. I love to do product reviews and I love to get use out of my makeup collection more efficiently. I have been doing a lot of project bands since last year and I've been documenting them here on my YouTube channel. So if those are the things you are interested in, please make sure to subscribe before jumping into today's video. <music> As you know from the title, today I'm here with my Lip and Nail Service 2024 project band update for month of May. If you don't know what Lip and Nail Service is, basically Lip Service Project is Fantastic Ladies collab. Fantastic Ladies is a Facebook group uh, where all the panning enthusiasts come up with unique ideas, fun ideas of project bands and uh, you're free to participate in them. I will link everything down in the description box below. And also I will link my introduction video here somewhere. So for lip service, you can choose any number of products as long as they are from lip category. So lip balm, lipstick, lip liner, whatever you count in your lip category, you can choose your own goal of using them up or some usage goal to them. So Ravneet here on YouTube, I will also link her uh, down in the description box below. She is amazing with her eye makeup looks. You should definitely check her out. Uh, she does an eye, lip and nail service project. So then I it gave me idea that I should also include my nail paints because I have a wide variety of nail paints and I want to get use out of them. Some of them are really, really old. So I have decided to include nail polishes as well as part of the project. So hence the name Lip and Nail Service 2024. So this is a rolling style project pan. So my goal for this year for this project is to handpick five products in each category so five lip products and five nail products basically pick five of the oldest products in that category and making sure uh, to use them see how they are performing because they are oldest products from my collection so i want to check if they are still good to use or not so then that is what going to be the theme of the project so then use all these products uh, lip products and also use oldest nail products to see if they are still good they are performing okay and do i want to keep it and keep them in my collection or get rid of them so in my introduction i did not have any specific goal in mind for the lip and cheek products but in my last update i have also modified my goals a little bit so for lips lip category for all my bullet lipsticks uh, it is going to be five uses goal and uh, for all liquid lipstick it is going to be three uses goal i count the uses per day for lip category so if i'm using a lipstick one day it is count it counts as a single use uh, irrespective of if i'm applying reapplying that lipstick throughout the day and number of times i still count it as one uses so for bullet lipstick five uses for liquid lipsticks it's going to be three uses for nail polish category i count my uses uh, as per many or petty so if i'm going to uh, use a nail paint uh, in my manicure one time then i count it as one uses so if i apply it all my 10 fingers then also it counts as one use and uh, if i use them on my feet then it counts as an additional uses so for all nail paints uh, in this project i'm count i'm going to be assigning two uses goal to them okay now th that is out of the way let's talk about the update today so let's go category wise so let's talk about the lip category first. So in month of March, I, when I posted my introduction, I handpicked five of my liquid lipsticks. And in my first update in month of April, I managed to roll three of them out. So that means I rolled three new products in. So I'm going to go in order these products were rolled in the project. So let's talk about the first product that is since the introduction and that is ColourPop First Position, which is this beautiful bright pinky red lipstick and um, goal was to use it three times and i have so far one uses in it uh, i don't reach for bold or red lipsticks very often so it's really difficult for me to use such colors and that's why i'm also revisiting my preferences that if these are not good because these are also some of the oldest products if these are not good anymore then i will 
I would love to move them out but so far this is actually performing really nice and I have one usage on this so last month there was no usage on this one second lipstick that is part of this project was again from Colourpop ultra matte lip and this was the shade arabesque this is also mini lipstick and this has two uses on it i have to use it one more time before i can roll it out of the project but i can see there is windowing happening in this one not sure but um let's see uh so there is also one uses left, left on this one so these two are staying in now the third product that i want to talk about is from sugar cosmetics and then this is it's about time vivid lipstick in the shade peachy little liars this was a beautiful like mauve toned shade although the name suggests peachy little liars i was expecting it to be more peach leaning and not mauve leaning and for me i i noticed my preference has changed before i used to love mauve toned lipsticks on me i still do when i have a little bit of tan but overall i prefer peach toned or brown toned nudes on me more because this is a bullet lipstick the goal was to use it five times and i have used it five times exactly so i have managed my goal but i do feel like this is quite an old lipstick in my collection and i do feel the formula is getting drier now so uh, i think i would like to declutter it because i've already got fairly good uses on this one so i'm going to declutter this one but i've managed to roll it out so roll out and a declutter next lipstick that i want to talk about is a liquid lipstick which is again by sugar cosmetics and this is suede secret matte lip color and the shade is 04 crappy coral um this is a beautiful coral shade you can see the windowing is happening here somewhere and then because this is a a, a, bowl, a liquid lipstick the goal was to use it three times and i have used it three times so this is rolling out but i'm also happy because this is uh, also very old but surprisingly it is still performing good and i think i can use it up because there is very little product left in this one and also this is a color that i like to wear this is kind of a coral shade and then i think i can use it up this summer so yeah another rollout and then last lipstick that was part of the project was from a color pop uh, love bug this is also really color pop lipsticks are some of the oldest liquid lipsticks in my collection um so this is also quite old you can see the yeah you can see the windowing is happening here and all over the tube so this is a very deep dark terracotta shade this used to be a very famous shade from colourpop love bug and then the goal was to use it three times or uh, yeah use it up basically and uh, i have used it one time which is like one day whole throughout the day including the reapplications and this is done you can see there is like nothing coming out um and i'm not gonna go through the hassle to take the stopper out for this one specifically because this is the old color pop formula that used to like crackle and mess it up that's why i i could use it up uh such a dark shade because i whenever i have to reapply i have just to take i have to take everything off before applying this one again so yeah i'm happy so this is again a gold mat i would say because this is finished so another rollout so we have uh three rollouts from the lipstick category now let's talk about the nails category update and then in the end we will pull all the new products for both the categories together so for nails category uh the first shade that i'm going to talk about is from oriflame very me uh nail graffiti base coat so this is a silver base coat this is uh, I have used it quite a lot this is like almost more than halfway used and this is a very beautiful sparkly silver shade and i like because this is something unique in my collection so this is still performing good this is drawing good so no challenges there uh, and then the goal was to use it two times and i have managed to use it two times so gold mat still staying in my collection the second shade i want to talk about is again from or from ori flame and it's from the pure color range and then the shade was serene green and this is this beautiful green shade i have uh, also managed to use it two times and again 
the shade is in perfect condition it dries fine it dries quickly it doesn't smudge i don't notice any nail like any hair prints on my nail next day so which is a good thing so and i like the colors so far so and also this is a good color to use in like spring summer so yeah this is still good still staying in my collection but rolling out of the project third shade that i want to talk about is again from the same range um oriflame pure color and this is the shade burgundy wine i'm not sure if you can see but i'm somewhere here here so almost halfway through the bottle now this one first of all this is a shade that i don't reach for very often and um, this is not as pristine as it used to be this still dries fine but um this is chipping faster than it used to so a very next day it starts to chip and i also have a similar uh shade in my kiko nail paint range it's a mini so i think that is a perfect thing to keep for the shade like this because that's more likely to i i'm more likely to use it up and uh, that is more fuss free so and i like the formula of those better because this is definitely the formula is changing so i have still managed to, to use it two times uh, which means i managed to hit my goal for this one but this is a declutter you know that's that's what it is all about so that i'm using my older nail paints and i'm still seeing that are they really good because this is from 2013 yeah it's very old so this is rolling out and also getting declutter then i have a uh, next product which is again from ori flame but this is a different range this is from the regular range pure color uh this is a thicker size like bottle and then the shade was clover haze which is this like peachy milky peachy shade it's too thin it's too thin for too too thin and too sheer for my liking uh the shade is no problem i don't find it very flattering nothing special and also it chips very very soon so i have already used it like more than half of the bottle and also this is quite old and this is smelling very strong chemically <laughs> so i don't want to put it on my nails anymore because this, this is too smelling too strong of chemicals so this is getting decluttered but i managed to use it three times so go mad but also getting decluttered now last nail paint that i want to talk about is from stay quirky this is also a indian drugstore brand and then the shade was inspired by the tv show friends uh, cast and then the shade was charismatic uh, and this was inspired by like matthew perry and this is a beautiful i was actually expecting it to be more of the matte this is matte finish nail paint i was expecting it to be more matte like lavender kind of shade but this is more of the grayish purple shade um but i like the shade and this is still performing good although this is also quite old i have used it a lot so this is quite getting thicker um but despite being thick this is drying fine so i think a little bit of uh nail polish thinner can do some good if not then i will declutter it in future for but for now this is staying in my collection and also my goal is met i have used it two times so for nail paint category i have basically managed to hit my goal of two uses on all the nail paints all the five nail paints so we will be pulling new five nail paints um but yeah out of five two are getting decluttered and three i'm keeping in my collection so that is the update now let's roll new products in so for the lip category because we have three rollouts i have already selected three new lipsticks that i would like to work on so the first one is going to be a uh, color pop thursday which is again a color pop ultra matte lip and this is a beautiful again you can see there is a windowing happening here i have used this shade a lot because i love this is like uh this is like a liquid lipstick version of my uh, flat out fabulous in the shade wise and i have used it a lot and i think there is barely anything left yeah there's barely anything left uh, and this is the shade you can see it's a beautiful shade and this is a perfect weather to pull this one out and i think it barely have three uses in it uh, because i have used it a lot a lot in past years 
so then this is yeah right time to use the le whatever is left here probably i'll take the stopper out because this is the newer formula from ColourPop. so this is going to be my first pick because this is a liquid lipstick the goal is going to be three uses or finishing up if i finish it up before three use so yeah this is the first shade that i hand picked the second shade is from a maybelline uh this is from their stay Super Stay Matte Ink line. This is not very old in my collection, but this is also something, uh, this range of Maybelline had a very hit or miss formula. It was not very consistent. For some shades, it was quite sticky. For some shades, it was really, really nice. These are super long lasting lipsticks, by the way. I love, I used to love the formula and I have a lot of shades from this range. So then I just want to use them one by one to see if they are still any good or if they are sticky and uncomfortable and that's the reason I'm not reaching for them. I want to declutter them. Yeah, so this is how my second pick looks like, which is Maybelline Stay Matte uh, Lip Liquid in the shade Lover. And then the last lipstick that I handpicked is from Sugar Cosmetics and it's again from the same range. It's about time vivid lipstick in the shade 08 Brown Town Abbey. These are, I think this range is discontinued. These are, you can't get these shades anymore. But let me swatch it for you. And this is also kind of a brownish, deeper shade. And I think I want, I wanted to uh, roll it in because I do want to kind of mix and match, use it with some of the lighter shades that I'm working on. So this is the third pick. Uh, for the lipstick because this is a bullet lipstick the goal is to use it five times so this is my third lipstick and then rest two shades that are still staying from the introduction of this uh it's color pop first position which is this beautiful pinky toned red and then the last shade which is arabesque so the first position still have uh, to be used two more times and then last shade is arabesque which i have to use one more time this is a quite deep shade so i'm not gonna take the stopper out but i think this has only one one day worth of uses left in this one so um yeah these this so this is my lipstick uh color story that i will be working on for upcoming month just recap for the lip category Colourpop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Thursday for three uses. Maybelline Stay Matte Lip Liquid in the shade Lover for three uses. Sugar Bullet Lipstick It's About Time Vivid Lipstick in the shade Brown Down Abbey for five uses. Colourpop Ultra Matte Lip in the first position for two more uses. And Colourpop Ultra Matte Lip in Arabesque for one more use. So this is new lip lipstick color story. I think we have quite a good variety. If you can roll out all of them by next update. <laughs> That would be great. Yes, now coming to the nail category. Because we managed to roll all of the five nail paints, I think this is a perfect time. And I'm super happy that we get to roll in five new fresh colors. So then the first color that I want to talk about is from, again, Ori Flame range. The one, it is from the same range and same time from the one which I decluttered, which is like the Clover Haze. So uh, this is a sheer cream. This is the shade sheer cream. So this is very sheer cream nail paint. Yeah, and again, I want to roll it in for two uses to see if it is still any good or not, or if I'm not liking it or if it's smelling a lot. Let's see, let's give it a sniff. Yeah, it is smelling chemically, but I'm still going to give it a chance. Um, so yeah, let's roll it in for two uses. The second nail paint that I handpick is again from the same range and this is the red shade. Um, and then the goal is again two uses and then the shade is called Red Classic. The third nail paint that I rolled in is from Stay Quirky. Uh, again, the brand which we have uh, friends inspired shade names. Uh, and then this is the shade called Matte La blah blah, which is inspired by Matt LeBlanc, um, who was Joey, <laughs> by the way. Yeah, this is a deep dark purple shade. This is also kind of a um, matte finish. So this is going to be my third pick for the nail paint. Uh, for the fourth shade, it is from Maybelline. 
color show range <laughs> do you remember these this is like from 2013 again so you can see uh, the line marking here here and here so i'm already somewhere in like half midway so i've used it quite a lot i love this shade because this is like a metallic finish denim shade so i want to roll it in to see if it's any good because maybelline color show range it was really good it's quite old but they tend to get bad uh, like they refuse to dry super quickly or they get the hair prints all over so i want to see if it's still fine or it does that so um again this is going to be denim dash for two uses by maybelline and last but not the least shade is again from the maybelline color show range you can see it's not very much used i'm somewhere here this is a cream finish uh from maybelline and then the shade is called shocking seas which is this beautiful bright like blue color and i think this is the right time to pull these shades out and give them a whiff so those were all the five nail paints i will be working on just to give a recap uh two nail paints from uh from ori flame one is sheer cream red classic then i have one matte nail paint which is this deep dark purple from stay quirky and two of the blues from maybelline color show range so this is going to be my nail polish story for the next month so that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed the video if you like it please give it a thumbs up do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you will be notified whenever i upload a new video also if you're doing this project what are your picks for this month what are your are you doing only lip service or lip, lip and nail service what are your picks for this month please share it in the comment section below i would love to know that and till next time have a good day good night wherever you are and i will see you in my next one bye